Cambridge United, Michael Squall, Lincoln head coach has uh, joined us. Well, pretty perfect performance that, wasn't it? Nearly perfect, <laughs> not quite. I think it was a good performance, um, but, you know, we, we dug deep. I thought we we sustained and dominated throughout, which was really pleasing. I thought, it was, as to a man, really, of some really good performances out there tonight. And the fact you were so clinical in that first half, how much did that please you? Yeah, we talked about that throughout the week, about, you know, how do we get in the box? How do we get numbers in the box? How do we how do we finish our attacks, whether that finishes over the goal line or in a goal? And I thought the first goal was a really good goal. Worked it around the pitch when we, you know, kept possession in their half. As, and then, um, yeah, what a finish, yeah. And Dylan Duffy was that outball a lot for you tonight. He, he wins the penalty, scores that, that second goal as well and, and showed why he should have been playing, I guess, when you, you named that team today. Yeah, so Dylan gives us that, as we know, that bit more of an attacking threat, and I think it's important to come to these places and and be able to hurt teams, not just come here and you know sit back. And then we knew we'd have to defend, but then we had an out ball with Dylan Duffy, and I thought he was he was really good tonight. Uh, and then second half, they just had that little spell, which I guess you would have expected. You you, you know, at some point, that a team will have a spell where they'll put you under a little bit of pressure, but you saw it through. <laughs> Yeah, I think the the sixes, you know, both Ethan's worked really hard tonight in there, and they had a spell where they were probably getting into the to the middle of the pitch too much, and then I thought they were grafted in there. And like you say, teams will always have a little bit of a spell, and I thought second half at half time we tweaked a few things with our pressure, and I thought we came out well in the second half and dominated really. And just to top it off, I know you're a big fan of set pieces. To get a goal from a set piece at the end as well must please you. Yeah, it's good. We've been talking about set pieces and defensive and attacking, and you know they're really important to the game. And you know you're two 0 and, and we get a third from a set piece. It just seals the game, really. Was that the most calm you felt as a, a head coach since you've taken charge of Lincoln in terms of, <laughs> of that 90 minutes? Um, no, um, I was pushing the lads at the end because I still believe in behaviours and I still believe that you know driving them hard. But but. But what I was really impressed with is like we've gone through four games now in 14 days, and you know Adam Jackson tonight he was he was superb and he's he's played every minute, and it was just really good to see them still driving and pushing after the sort of two weeks we've had in the games back to back games. So it's, you know not to die out there and keep pushing is yeah with me my me helping them with the last moments. It, it leads me on to my next question. You've now got a week with the players until the next game. How crucial will that week be? <laughs> well, yeah, they're off tomorrow and then, and then they've got a couple of days training. I'm actually giving them the weekend off. So, um, but yeah, I think they've worked really hard. But it's crucial that I can get some work into them for two days, Thursday, Friday. And we can talk about more principles and then we start to build next week for, for the next game. Um, we'll talk through the injuries now, the players that, that maybe people would have expected to be in the, the match day squad that there wasn't tonight. We'll start off with uh, Sean Rowan. What's the situation there? Yeah, he's picked up a little bit of a... Um, a hip groin injury from being away with the national team and uh, the 21s of Ireland and you know he's struggling a little bit so we, we, again we're gonna we're having to manage him or, or not use him because of that um, so yeah it's a, it's a, we've got a few injuries at the minute that's for sure yeah Ted Bishop uh, not involved tonight and he was on on Saturday same with Lass Sorensen what's the, the latest on those two so both of them like uh, Lass you know he came off the pitch on Saturdays worked really hard and again he was it was just a bit too early for Lass I don't want to risk players at the moment you know I've got to try and keep patching the squad up if you like and and the same with Lass and Teddy felt something from Saturday so yeah we've just got to be careful at the moment with, with the numbers yeah, and just finally on Tyler Walker because I know just before you joined when we spoke with, with Tom Shaw he said he was just starting to strike the ball and, and get back to that stage how far away do you think he is and how's he getting on yeah, with Tyler, we, we've probably had a little bit of a setback. He's been to see a consultant. We're not sure what that looks like yet. So at the moment, I can't really give you any more information on that. We're still sort of working with Tyler and what, what his future looks like at the moment in terms of his injury. Uh, and just finally, said that look at the league table. And although the, the gap to the playoffs remains the same, the gap to third, I think it's now just six points. So it's tightening up, isn't it? There's not a lot in it. It shows that a little bit of consistency can really get you far in League One. Yeah, I think putting a, a run of games together where you pick up points, you know, if you can go three games and pick up points, then four games, I think it pushes you up there and, you know, trying to stay in that pack at the moment is really important and then later on in the season, anything can happen but you want to stay with the pack, um, at the back of the peloton maybe, but you want to stay with them. <laughs>